probably seems like I'm always making videos in threes, but anyways. Um, another thing for prepping that you can... God, oh my god. Oh. Um, prepping for under 20 bucks or for $20 that you probably want to get is cleaning supplies for your firearm. Firearm maintenance is a big deal. If your firearm isn't clean and it fails, you're defenseless. Pretty, pretty dumb. So, what am I saying? I am dumb turdy talky today. But turtle taint. Basically, if you're defenseless, it goes without saying, you're screwed. So, one thing you want to have plenty of are brushes, plastic, brass, you know, mops. These aren't quite as important. But you can get these. I think I got this bulk thing of this for it's like four bucks at Walmart. And all these brushes and mops are a buck ninety nine or less usually. Uh, you want to get plenty of oil because you want your firearms to be well lubricated. It's easy. Everybody that has a firearm knows that. You always want to have solvent so you can clean them. Unless you, you know, have a Glock or a AK, like me, then eh, you can kind of slack on the solvent. You can give it a good rub down, and and so you don't have to buy the gun cleaning brushes because what you can start doing is, as your toothbrushes wear out and you get new ones, like this one's gonna get turned into a gun cleaning toothbrush here shortly because I don't know, it feels like it's losing its bristly nessy shit so yeah turn this into a gun scrubber i wish i had a gun out here so i could pantomime better or not have to pantomime but i'm pantomiming because i don't have my gun out here because i'm not prepared and i'm mumbling and nobody can hear me when i mumble because my camera's not that good so now i'm rambling and rambling is stupid back to the point cleaning supplies um I think this is like six or seven bucks, four bucks, four bucks maybe, and then two bucks a piece. So you can get quite a bit of gun cleaning supplies for for well under twenty dollars, and it will last you quite a long time unless you abuse it. I like these uh, plastic ones better than these, just because I don't want to scratch my barrels. But I also realize that if it's a if you're prepping, that plastic probably won't last as long as the brass ones will. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. So you can get both, or one or the other, or do whatever the hell you want. Whatever you prefer. And for some reason, I got a 45 caliber one when I don't even own a 45. And I opened it instead of my 40 cal. Doesn't make any sense to me. But yeah. Those are things you could think about. And they're pretty easy to get. I know I have hiding around here somewhere a, a little red Winchester oh, it's a cleaning case. I think I have it right over here. Yeah. I got one of these from Walmart. Most people hate Walmart, but you know what? For the price, you get a little... I think it's watertight. I don't know for sure. I haven't actually tested it out, but it's got little grommets. And this was, I think, six bucks. And you get most of this. Actually, yeah, this is all. This all came with it. I thought I shoved some extras in there. Um, but you get mop cleaner. That so you can stick these through it and you know, wipe out the excess junk, and you get, what calibers do we have here, I think it's 357, 40, 9, and 22, so you get a nice little compact cleaning kit that you can throw in a bug out bag, which is what I did with this one, it was next to my big bug out bag, which has been disassembled, because I used it on a trip, but yeah, cleaning supplies. Cheap, easy to find, and are definitely worth their weight in, in weight. <laughs> I am the most eloquent talker in the face of the planet, aren't I?
cat. They're worth their weight in weight. Someday that'll be on a t-shirt. I have my name under it like Aristotle or something. Anyways, like I said, cleaning supplies. Prep them.